Welcome back, fellow explorers. I'm thrilled to have you join me for the fourth installment of Project Solara, our ongoing journey through the marvels of speculative evolution inspired by the amazing work of Project Mirror. In today's episode, we plunge into the vibrant and diverse world of Verdantara's reefs, exploring the extraordinary life that has evolved there. Let's start our exploration with the four Elithids, descendants of the Turtolithids. These creatures have embraced a sedentary lifestyle. With tentacles and mouth facing upwards, they've evolved webbing to capture passing food efficiently. Their ancestors didn't have any form of blood, but with these creatures' increased size they will need it. They may evolve violet blood, which will help them camouflage with the Purpurophyta. The biggest will grow up to an inch and they will still use broadcast spawning as their main form of reproduction. Sessile in zoology, describing an animal that remains fixed in one place. Sedentary animals, such as barnacles, limpets and mussels, are usually permanently attached to a surface. As the four elithids flourish, a new predator emerges from the aquilophant lineage, the aquilodendrons. These smaller descendants have adapted their beaks to suck the four elithids out of their shells, creating a delicate balance in this evolving ecosystem. They grow up to 2 inches and have a lifespan of about 1 year. To counter the threat posed by the aquilodendrons, a branch of the four elithids evolves into the coralithids. These colossal creatures, growing up to 7 feet tall, develop shells that form the base of giant coral-like structures. Tipped with tentacles, the coralithids snatch up passing food and create awe-inspiring coralithid reefs. Remarkably, these creatures boast a lifespan of up to 10 years, making them the oldest inhabitants of this planet. As the coralithid reefs become established, a new habitat arises, providing opportunities for pre-specialized creatures like the Serpenticeptoros. These long, flexible beings navigate the reef's nooks and crannies looking for prey. Pre-adaptation is simply the lucky coincidence that a feature that evolved to do one thing may turn out later to do another thing even better. Some descendants of the Serpenticeptoros, the Serpentoforma, become ambush predators, hiding under the sand and waiting for unsuspecting prey. With flat bodies and four eyes on top of their heads, they grow up to five inches and live for about two years. Next to join the thriving reefs are the descendants of the Stellafarids. Evolving into smaller creatures with impeccable camouflage, they blend seamlessly into the coral, using their tentacles to hold onto the coralithids. Some may spend their entire lives on one coral. These camouflaged creatures grow up to one-third of an inch and have a lifespan of about a year, and we will call them the Stellar Invisopter. Camouflage is a defensive adaptation that allows organisms to blend into their surroundings, providing protection from predators. Taking a different evolutionary path within the reefs, another branch of the four elithids becomes ambush predators. Armed with sharp spikes on their tentacles, they lurk in the nooks and crannies, using camouflage to surprise their prey. We will call them tritentolithids, and they will grow up to one inch. These creatures have a lifespan of about one year. Finally, the reefs are not without their predators. Descendants of the Aquilophant evolve beaks capable of crushing the tough exteriors of coralithids, consuming the smaller creatures residing within. Their beaks feature horn-like growths to intimidate potential threats, and they grow up to 6 inches, living for about 2 years. The coralithid reefs of Verdantara have evolved into a tapestry of life, with each creature adapting uniquely to its environment. Join us in the next episode as we delve into the mysteries of Verdantara's deep seas and the incredible organisms that thrive there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment with your thoughts and suggestions for future episodes. And remember, the wonders of Project Solara are just beginning.